Are you awake? Are you really awake? How do you know you're awake? My millennials, stay woke! This is your last chance. After this, that's where the story ends. If you take the blue pill, You'll wake back up in your bed. Believe whatever it is you want to believe. Back to the world of fake news. Social media echo chambers. Hollywood smoke and mirrors. Self-aggrandizement. Botox and boob jobs. Or come with us and take the red pill and see really how far the rabbit hole really goes. <laughs> Hollywood is a system and that system is our enemy. When you're inside it and you look around, what do you see? You see actors, Beautiful. celebrities, Glamour. models, singers, directors, producers, those people are not ready to be unplugged from the system. All the controllers and those that protect that illusion, they are our enemies because they will fight and do everything in their power to protect that system. We're trying to open your mind. I can only show you the truth, but you have to want it. What are we looking at here? Well, this is obvious in your face, you know, persuasion, basically. Usually everything is a little more mellifluous and seductive. So usually there's a subliminal persuasion going on, often like what you see in the film, They Live. Obey, consume, submit. And this is really just in, in your face. But you're going to see on ads, you're going to see in the news, you're going to see in entertainment, video games. Usually something will be enmeshed. Uh, in, in your conscious mind will be directed to look at one thing while over here something is being seeded into a person's subconscious usually directly going into the limbic system so the limbic system is usually where past experiences are given new writing so you can rewrite over old information so new programs can happen often this is something to do with a base feeling a, a base drive internal instinct uh, to survive and replicate so it's all these subtleties at play that people need to learn the the languaging of our representational systems of our sen senses yeah, girl in the red dress just walking by you now most people aren't willing to be unplugged are you listening or are you looking at the lady in red? What is real? How do you define real? The secrets are in the subtleties. Do you know how to read the subtext? Are you a student of discernment? Do you have a sovereign mind? Do you want this? One, two, three, four, five, wide awake, and I'll snap. Or I'll do a little mental snap. This is one of the things that I, I do to bring myself back out of that programmable state, back into full awareness and non-suggestibility. Hey, are you aware of subliminal messaging being used in movies and television? Sorry. What's your problem? <laughs> Often uh, I see this in the news a lot when someone's really trying to fix in some sort of concept, they'll actually use an anchoring hand gesture, right? So someone will, will be talking about something and they'll say, yeah, I see what you're saying, but that's not the issue at hand here. So they'll use some sort of anchoring gesture and this is one of the things that they'll do. So if Trump is doing this ever so often um, as an anchoring point, what do you think they're trying to do when they're trying to claim that the liberal media is trying to claim that this is a white supremacist symbol? It's not. 
but literally it keeps building and building and building the filing system that people have around that symbol so that eventually when that comes up people get triggered and suddenly these people who aren't aware of all that subtext subtextual commanding that's going on suddenly just are angry and they feel like they have to do something and they have to act out and they they've got to make the change you know it's a, it's literally everybody's walking around like Manchurian candidates at this point um, completely unaware of why they're feeling what they're feeling and literally it's their subconscious that's being played like an instrument so what's happening here is that there's a couple dynamics going on in the peripheral so you're being seated with the idea of peace and love and this is what Austin's about but then also look over there to the left the boot with the crown is stepping on the truth right so it's all these little subtle tells and her back door with the love is literally the back door but we're standing on the truth aren't we peace and love you guys so here's Google you know putting across its message one of the most interesting tells of behavior modification and subliminal persuasion or mental engineering that we saw demonstrated recently was from our our favorite fake news channel CNN with oh. their do you remember the facts first ad this is an apple some people might try to tell you that it's a banana it's, they're using perfect Saul Alinsky tactics, which is to accuse their opponents of the very thing that they're guilty of. And so literally, they've got uh, covert hypnosis that they're using on the audience, which is conversational hypnosis. They might scream banana, banana, banana over and over and over again. They'll say something like, you might even start to believe that it's a banana. You might even start to believe that this is a banana. But it's not. This is an apple. It figures it would be something like this. And on a deeper level, um, they're obfuscating uh, the information around uh, what is true, what is false, and it connects back to, you know, they literally ripped uh, the information off from a very, very viral video uh, on 9-11 called This is an Orange. This is an Orange. If you were told it was something else, you wouldn't believe it, would you? This building is about to be destroyed in what is called a controlled demolition. Buildings do not do this spontaneously. This is World Trade Center 7 just before it collapsed on September the 11th, 2001. What does it look like to you? So the question is, do you believe what you can see with your own eyes, or do you believe what you are told? What they're teaching in that original video is that what we were fed as the official narrative is so far out and delusional and insane that if you actually look with your own eyes uh, about uh, World Trade Center number seven and how it fell into its own footprint. But no, 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 you have to believe via cognitive dissonance, you know, what we tell you. Oh, and 20 minutes after the fact of it being reported on both uh, BBC and I think a another channel. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse and its collapse and its collapse? As you can see behind me, the uh, Trade Center appears to be still burning. We are getting information now that one of the other buildings, Building 7, in the World Trade Center complex is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. So the fact that CNN recently spun with this ad, you know, this is an apple, to try to seed, you know, their their true news because of course Trump has been coming out, you know, calling them out for what they are. They're known time and time and time again to create false propaganda and pretend that it's something real. So essentially what they're doing there with this apple banana commercial is they're trying to suggestively reinforce the, the viewers trust in them as a yes. credible news source yes. while at the same time trying to get the viewer to lose trust for organizations that they label as fake news. Yes, and it's all about uh, distraction and confusion. And then they just simply input 
um, subliminals and, and trigger points to make people trust them so that whenever they have that confused feeling inside, they just revert back to trusting yeah. the, their trusted news provider, which is CNN, ABC, whatever. These people with their biased belief systems literally will not see what you're showing them. They will cover it over. Well, you know, that's very interesting because we were in the middle of downtown Austin and this is a very liberal blue city. Yeah. So let's actually go out and see if we can talk to some of these people and see how they react. Yeah. Okay, let's let's talk to these girls. Hey, hey ladies, do you guys trust CNN? Mm. Do you watch CNN? Sure, yeah. You do? What do you guys think about InfoWars? No, I don't know. Sorry. No? no. Do you think that 9-11 was an inside job? Ah, uh, tough question. I don't know. I don't know. Why, don't why are you Why are you so uncomfortable? Because, because, sorry. You were just telling us about how whenever you ask them something that goes against their programming, mm -hmm. they get really discomforted and anxious and they don't know what to do. A psychological alarm will be triggered, literally, that they have to escape. So, so let's uh, see who else we can talk to. Do you guys trust CNN? InfoWars doesn't fit into their indoctrinated belief system. Therefore, they'll either ignore it, throw it out, or attack it. Core psychological, you know, intrinsic stuff. Anything that threatens that core, they'll fight. Do you think CNN's real news? No, thank you. <laughs> well, actually, it depends. You get rid of Donald Trump, maybe it becomes real news. <laughs> do you think uh, CNN is real news or fake news? Real news. Why do you think it's okay to like say cuss words at hey, me? Info wars. What is that? It sounds, that sounds adult? like fake news. Are you news. a child? Are you an adult or are you a child? Cussing someone out seems like something a teenager You're would do. You're harassing. Off is cussing somebody out. So, do you think 9/11 was an inside job? Yes. Are, oh, you speak Russian. You have more relations to Russians than me, that's for sure. Baka. Oh, wow. So that literally was a perfect case in point demonstration of what we were just discussing. People will absolutely fight to stay in the matrix. They will absolutely fight. If anything in their core personality feels threatened, they will, they will attack you. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the illusion is. You have to see it for yourself.